No, te coge el coro. The second three main things that I, I want to do in my tenure as a cabinet secretary in this ministry, one of them is to uh, make Kenya the center of investments in the, in the world. And, and, and I'm looking forward to working with you to, in that endeavor because what you are doing is actually enabling investment. The other pillar of my, my administration is to open up our export markets and especially the African market. I just, uh, yesterday I arrived from South Africa where uh, we are working with South Africa to be the main drivers of the, to, to unlock any obstacles that are come on the way of the African continental free trade area. So that even businesses that are going to operate from ALP, not only can they be able to satisfy the local market, but take advantage of the huge, huge potential that exists in, uh, within the African continent. Of course, I don't want Julius to tell me that now we are looking at Africa, so we don't need your market. No, we want to open up the African market so that we can, uh, we can have complementarity with our traditional markets in Europe, uh, US, uh, in Asia, and other countries. But what is going to change is our conversation. That we want to have a conversation based on investment, based on trade and based on opportunities. The conversation based on debt, on borrowing, it will be a thing of the past. And I, we have divided ourselves into two. My colleague, Professor Njogun Ndong, who is a cabinet secretary for the National Treasury, is taking care of the old Kenya, the Kenya that is based on debt, the Kenya that is based on borrowing, on budget deficit and on a burdensome civil service. And I am leading the other Kenya, which is based on zero debt, zero deficit, zero public service. And that is faster to work based on investments, based on shared opportunities and shared prosperity. So you can choose which passport you want to hold. Even in Misri and farmers and Karanji, I want to see those people wearing clothes made here in Remuru that are affordable. And I have no regrets about that. Once we create jobs here, everybody can afford our clothes. And in any case, and I'm saying this because in my other capacity, I'm an exporter of clothes. And I know we export clothes to, um, to the US much cheaper than what Mitubas are selling here. Nobody wears Mitumba because they want to wear Mitumba. One, because they don't have enough disposable income. Two, because they don't have an alternative. And three, because they don't have jobs. And I'm going to attack all those three. The noise is notwithstanding. Even the people who are telling me about Mitumba, they don't even know where Gikomba is. If you tell them Gikomba, they'll go to Google to find out where Gikomba is. So this, 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 uh, I don't know what to say because I will remain focused on my job. And I will create jobs. I'll ensure I create 5 million jobs in our textile manufacturing industry, including here in Remuru. And when people get those jobs, they can afford to buy new clothes. And those new clothes, they will make them themselves. And I want to make every Kenyan, I want to give every Kenyan young woman and man an opportunity to be able to make their own clothes and sell the rest to Julius and the people of the United Kingdom. That is a conversation we need to have. We need to have meaningful conversation about how to change this country and create real wealth and income for our people. We are not going to do that when we are led by hysteria, by emotions, by pontification. It's just somebody from their air condition on a keyboard, on a, on a 20, 20, 32 characters or whatever it is, 
And you think you can just, you know, defocus us from our agenda. We are very focused people. And we are not going to deviate from our agenda to create jobs, to grow manufacturing, and to create real incomes for our people. It's, f it's half a million square feet of development, and it provides 700 quality jobs um, to quality tenants. Um, I would pick out in particular Twig of Foods, Copier, Freight Forwarders, Solutions, and Mapay. And we're very pleased and very proud of that product, but we're equally pleased and proud of this product here. Development is helpful, but the provision of warehousing as part of a modern supply chain benefits not just businesses, but by making logistics more efficient, it drives down costs, and hence prices for all Kenyans, and that is particularly important at this time, I think. Issues. The, the UK is the largest cumulative investor in Kenya, 385 billion uh, worth of investment, about 220 firms. Um, if you want to join the British Chamber of Commerce, talk to Farida. Uh, it is a very worthwhile uh, group to be part of, as you can imagine. Um, but, but what does that mean? I mean, that means jobs, that means greater incomes for Kenyans, uh, that means uh, you know, investment, of course, and it means growth. We're, we're very, very proud of that partnership.